right, so to print a shirt, the first thing you got to do is get this thing on here. What's that? Screen printing resource? Is that screen printer's resource or whatever? Um, what is you with now? Yeah. Oh, screen printing superstore. Super yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, the price is pretty good too. Yes. Yeah, and with my promo code, you can get 5% off. Okay. Okay. So now we got to make sure the shirt's straight. Okay, we get it on there. Now the thing you got to check is height. So it's a little low. I can move the pallet in just a little bit. And then I'm going to have to reset where the shirt sits. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to actually load the shirt with the collar a little bit up on there. I want you to see who's down to earth. <laughs> who's down to earth is me. I'm the real thing. I actually still screen print for a living. Okay. You know what's better? What's, what, what palette is better? Is the square ones are better than the... Uh... I, I prefer the square palette. Why is that? Uh, because I can do this and see how... Exactly, exactly. I can see the side. Yeah. I can see how much space is here, and then I can see the straight line against the shoulder and the collar. The the pallets that have that little neck, yeah, I don't, I don't like. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. And this is going to print really easy. Okay. Now my question is, what's the distance between the collar to the? Uh, what's the standard distance between the collar? Is it three fingers, two fingers? This would be fine. Yep. Three, four fingers. Perfect. Not a problem. Or is it? Or does it depend on the image? It could depend on the image. If you have a really narrow image, you're going to want to have it a little bit lower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like 2XL, 3XL, any overshoot. Well, that's true. Uh, as far as when you start to go up in sizes, this is a large. So like on a double extra large, I might drop it down a little bit. Presses are going to be yeah, yeah. 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 a little lighter, looks yeah, so, you know, I'm going to say it's like, you know, for a thing, but I, want, I like this because it's sturdy. Yeah. I mean, it's solid. But it's just too, it, for me, it'd be too hard to uh, bring it around. You know? <laughs> and what, it's got casters, dude. You can roll this around your shop. No, no, no. I mean, putting it up on the truck and then take it with me to the show. Oh, well, if you want to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll check the cure. What temperature does that sit at? Well, this one actually doesn't have any temp on it. It just has high, it has numbers. So I don't know what the temperature range. It doesn't have a digital thermostat. But uh, looks like it's curing. Okay, so we do a little test and just see. Okay, and I think to start, because we just started, we'll let this one run through again. You know, because I... How long have you been printing? Oh, I've been, I've been printing since I was 11 years old. And I am uh, almost 42. Okay, so we'll let that one go through. <laughs> For once, somebody's older than me. Thank goodness. You know? Okay, it's a fresh palette, so we still got to make sure we get our, our glue going. Actually, leave that off. Okay. I'm going to load our shirt. Is it, is it a lot of tick pictures? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Okay. Alright, yeah, because I want to see you next. 
<laughs> okay, you want to print it? Huh? You want to print one? I'm a, I'm a pusher, not a puller. All right, that's okay. Now, uh -huh. just just letting you know, this black ink, uh -huh. it's really thin, okay? And this is a 110 mesh. Okay. All right, so you don't need too much flood pressure or too much stroke pressure. It's going to print really easily. Yeah, All right? Oh, okay, yeah, because then it'll smear. Right? Yeah, it'll, it could flood out. It, there's not too much detail in here that it would flood out, but it could. This is really thin black ink, so, all right? What kind of ink is it? I'm not, I'm not sure what they brought today. I'd have to ask the guys, but go ahead. Oh, see, I'm going to push it. Just do your normal thing. Go, go for it. Okay. There you go. See that? With that thin black ink and a 110 mesh, you barely had any effort to get your coverage on a fruit of the loom, which has a really open knit. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard to fill the knit on a shirt that has an open knit and it can be a problem. Yeah. So uh, like, you know, that's something that you have to consider when you're, especially with half tones, yeah. when you're printing a half tone, buy a higher quality shirt that has a tighter knit and your half tone print will look better. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cure this shirt and this is yours. Wow, thank you, sir. We'll run it through twice, like I did the other one, just to make sure because we just we just turned on the oven and you, get you know. A marker? Can you sign it for me too? If we can find the black marker, I will yeah. certainly sign it for you. In fact, I might. I. Let me let me see. Let me let it go through, I'll send it through again, and then I'm gonna find something to sign it for you. I didn't know you were gonna be here. You said you were, uh, it's all up on my website. You, if you follow me on my website no, or I Facebook. Do, I, do. I got you on yeah. uh, I got you Twitter, on, Facebook. Um, no, on YouTube. YouTube, yeah. I, I uh, posted it in the uh, feed. No, you were gonna be in the SGIA. Uh, NBM in Long Beach I'm NBM. gonna do, and, and I'm doing this one first. I didn't say that on the. Uh, I didn't think you, did, you said that about this one. Yeah, I did late. They, I started promoting NBM first, yeah, and then. NBM was the one I yeah, saw. and then I decided to come here to meet with the screen printing superstore. Oh. So I posted that only just like, you know, within the last week or so, that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was watching the videos and you didn't say the. Uh, you didn't talk about this one. Yeah. yeah that's perfect. All right, so. We'll let this one go through and let me see if I can find a Sharpie or something. We want to make sure it's cured for you so it doesn't wash out. Another thing I wanted to ask you, where'd you get the name from? Catspit? Actually, the, the whole history is on the website, but basically I had a black cat for about 20 years and uh, she used to, when I pet her and give her love and stuff, you know, she would salivate yeah. and then shake her head like a dog and the spit, like tons of spit would fly everywhere on my glasses. And I was like, what's with this cat spit, you know? And I wrote it down before I started the business. And then, and then uh, I started the business, named it after her, and then my apartment burned down and she died. Right, so that's where the skull and crossbones and this comes in. That's symbolic of her life and death. Let me see if I can find a pen. All right, what do you what do you want me to what do you want, Jonathan from Catspit? Yeah, John. Where do you want it? Say hello or Where do you want me? Put it right under here. Two. Monito. Oh man, this. J. U. You spell it for me. U. U A N I T O. There you go. What's today's date? It's the, the 12th. Uh, 12th? Yeah. Uh, eight, eight more. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, yeah. that marker didn't work so no, good. I hope all, that's all, all right. Sorry. Do you want that extra one? 
No, no, no. You want that one? That's good. I'm going to frame this one. All right. Well, when I become famous, I'll say this guy's on All right. <laughs> good deal. Thank yeah, nice you. To meet you nice to meet you.